Hey guys, welcome back. So about to dive into episode number four of Attack on Titan. This one is entitled The Night of the Closing Ceremony, Humanity's Comeback Part 2. So enjoying what I've seen so far, you might have noticed that the comments are not on. That's because you guys like to tell me everything about everyone and everything that's going to happen. So comments are off. So I really hope you can respect that. Um, people are dropping a lot of comments in my Attack on Titan openings, reactions, and also just dropping comments in other random videos as well about Attack on Titan. So because they can't comment on this video or my previous reaction videos, they're just coming and just sprinkling little nuggets on everything. So I don't want to turn off my comments on all my videos, so please, if you are a fan of Attack on Titan and you're enjoying my reactions, please just hold back on the comments on and the spoilers on other comment platforms. I'd really appreciate that. Anyway, I'm loving the show. So last week, Aaron just got used to using the apparatus. He was trying to get used to it the whole episode. He couldn't do it. He thought he was the only one who couldn't make this thing work. Turns out the belt was damaged. So yeah, he's actually a whiz. But I'm really keen to dive into this new one here. This 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 is an exciting show. I'm really digging the vibe of it. The Titans scare me, but there's more to it than just scary Titans ripping people apart. So I'm told. Also, this is a timer-based reaction, so I'm not gonna show the whole video. Grab your copy and watch along with me, yeah? It's gonna be a fun ride. All right, you ready? Three, two, one. Go. So the Colossal and the Armand Titans. The Armand? The Armand, the Armand Titan. <laughs> the Armand Titan even. Broke through the wall. 100 years of deprivation, yep. Horrible scene where Aaron's mum got eaten. So we're down a wall. I found this interesting too. So all the cities on the outside of the ring. Nice little recap. So what I'm liking about the show so far is, and I've got to try not to yell, the, the, the sound is loud in my ears, so I, I am inclined to yell even though I don't need to, so I'll try and turn down the volume. Um, the animation, of course, is on point. The character work, the background work, the sky, everything is impeccable. And I'm really enjoying the voice work too. Like I, I can't understand what they're saying, but you can still get that that emotion is still conveyed really strongly. So I much prefer the sub with that natural performance over a dub any time. So the show is enticing. I'm enjoying it. Episode number four, about to get in my eyeballs. It makes me happy. I love the music. And judging from these opening credits, there are a lot of exciting action scenes to come. What I'm noticing though with all these anime, all the opening credits, they do they do spoil a lot. They show you a lot of things that are coming down the track. Like JoJo's Bizarre Adventure, I just noticed that recently that there's a character design in there from the, the manga who isn't going to appear for like four or five chapters. So I'm wondering if like I'm getting stuff in here that's really going to be quite surprising to me later down the track. I mean, right now, I'm not I'm not making a lot of sense of it, but, um... God, I spoke all the way through that. Night of the Graduation Ceremony, Humanity Rises Again, Part 2. Straight away, blown away. The year, 8.50. So, two years. Oh, we jumped two years. Training. Come on, Armin. Titan Chow. Damn it. Come on, man. Helping him out. That's nice. Brown. Yes. Rhino. New character. Music's good. I'm an alert. I 
Oh, wow. Sick. The guy for the back of the neck. Any land hunt. Mm hmm. Bertolt. A mustache. I love the apparatus, man. It's so cool. Connie? Haha. <laughs> Sasha. Lux boiled potatoes. Connie Springer. <laughs> he lacks mental agility. Poor Connie. Oh, this is sick, man. So I got Mikasa and Aaron. She's no rando. Wow. Aaron Yeager. <laughs> Yeah, he's got a lot of heart, this kid. Got a lot of motivation. Nice. God, the animation, man. God, it's so good. Holy shit. It's beautiful. Training. Kicking asses. Ouch. The bandit? You be the bandit. You be the bandit. Mm hmm. Canon or martial arts. You gotta be Batman. Any Annika? Oh, he's gonna get his ass handed to him. She's gonna kick his ass. Don't do it. She'll whip you. She looks, she looks fierce. Ha ha ha. she's gonna kick ass. Ooh, <laughs> oh, in the shin. Ow, that kills. You sure did. <laughs> Wait. <laughs> God. Oh, Aaron keeps landing on his head. <laughs> no, he's cool. Go on, runner. <laughs> <laughs> oh, dear me. I didn't think I'd be laughing in this show. I thought I'd be crying and scared. <laughs> oh, I choked. Yeah, she's awesome.
the top 10. <clears throat> Karate Kid. Oh, he likes lifting people up by the head. She's better than you, dude. Titan killing skills. So you'll never need to fight them. Oh. <laughs> mm-hmm. Piece of shit. This sucker. Everyone's just watching. Oh, he's grown. Hm. Oh, wow. Haha. <laughs> nice move, man. <laughs> Damn. How smooth. Oh. We're just fighting, coach. God, he's scary. <laughs> Poor Sasha. <laughs> Learn to control yourself. <laughs> How dare you say that? Oh, look, she's feeding her after all. Three choices. Survey call. Hmm. 
The military police. The safe job. Ooh. Mikasa, number one. I'll go through that. Oh, how good is this animation? Holy moly. I love it. Because your dick. No, he wants to get on the survey call. Cannot defeat Titans. Still has to kill them all. So passionate, man. This guy's fairly rational. Aaron wants to fight, though. He wants to be a hero. He wants to avenge his mother's death. Oh shit. It's dangerous. Oh, she's going to follow him. Uh, loyal friends. This is a really beautiful show, isn't it? Until it horrifies you. The survey cause. Captain Levi. Shut up. No, oh, so much optimism. <laughs> Hans. Hmm. Yeah, man. That's a tough day. Hmm. 
don't die. Don't die, Aaron. So the garrison's on the walls? Yeah, I had my own decision, man. Nice. <laughs> She's always got food. <laughs> she loves food so much. Five years. So that's been a, a Titan attack and all that time. Fuck. Whoa, what the hell? I really thought that was about to be the ending credits. How could that big bastard just sneak up like that? Oh my god. Nice catch. Nice. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh shit. Uh oh. Ugh. Wow, they're going to attack the Titan? I don't think they're ready. He's on the Titan? Not on the Titan. He's not on the Titan. It's been five years hollow. Oh my god. Oh, I was not expecting that thing to show up at the end there. Startled me. Ah, <laughs> Man. Why, why, why you end like that with the cliffhanger and things? How did that colossal son of a bitch sneak up on the wall like that? What? You would have seen that guy coming, sneaky bastard. Scaring people and folks. Me. Jerk. <laughs> oh, next episode's going to be awesome though. Shit. Ugh. So, I'm kind of popping these out as quickly as I can. I've got a whole schedule of anime shows to react to. I really want to dive into the next one of this right now, though. But I can't. I've got JoJo lined up. It's my day watching anime. It's not a bad day. It's fun. But I have a schedule to stick to. And... <laughs> Goddamn. That was good, though. Damn, this show is just amazing. The animation is just stunning. that has been five years. So we met the characters as little kids. Or like 12. 12 years 
of age and then five years past so what what 17 now preview Battle of Trust. Ooh, exciting. So yeah, um, these little previews are going to keep popping up. I don't know if I'm going to be able to stop myself from watching them. Um, the part of the series, or the episode, the structure of the episode, I, I, I can't avoid them. Well, I could avoid them, but I just don't want to. I like the little previews, but even though it does kind of spoil a little bit as to what's to come. So I'm going to get... um have a bit of a break, come back and kind of go through the show a little bit and have a bit of a discussion, tell you what I liked, and mostly, yeah, what I liked because I like everything I'm seeing in this show so far. Goddamn sick. I'm glad I started this. Thanks, guys. Can't believe I was nervous. show's awesome. Back in the tick. Okay, so what a, another amazing episode. A lot of character building, getting to know the structure of the society and just the cadets progressing through their military training, graduating and getting to their assigned roles. Man, I'm I'm really digging this show. So the 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 writing, the writing's incredible, and like I keep saying, the animation is just second to none. It's very incredible. So we kind of start here at the beginning with a bit of a recap right before the opening credits. So humanity abandoned War Maria. So the outer ring has been breached, and like I said in my previous reactions, just the the I didn't realize that those little rings on the the exterior of the outer ring were cities that were kind of designed to kind of keep the titans interested like focus them off the wall because once they breach the wall and get in you know trouble they still managed to do that though they got into one of the, the outside rings and then breached the wall from inside that so now everyone's kind of had to hightail it into wall rows to you know not be eaten by monsters so we have lost a massive amount of the population though going through the credits so the music kicks in what a great soundtrack i love it and then you got blood smeared all over the title there uh oh so straight into the main just of the story so we open up on some once again amazing amazing animation straight away just these landscapes all the forest all the woodland areas just look so incredible in the rain dig it dig it dig it this bit at the beginning where um they're doing some training alert is that armor's last name arm and alert i thought it was just being like cheeky arm and alert guys he's tagging behind so um we have the cadets all doing their training with the guy. I can't remember his name. I would tell you to tell me in the comments, but no comments because you can't keep your mouth shut. So no, <laughs> I'm not being mean. Only some of you, but yeah, yeah, and some. That's enough. But um, yeah, I will learn. Um, and Armin's struggling with the with this with the running, carrying the load. But he gets some backups, and another guy runs up behind him and says, "Give me that because." Um, we're being graded on this exercise. So if one person drags us all down, we're all going to go down here. It's like on the gr the grade curve. So he's helping him out. So this guy is um the names. I like how we had a bit of a recap here. Uh, the commander goes through all the people's names, so I I'll start to remember them. So the main characters are Eren, Jaeger, Mikasa Ackerman, and Armin Alert. So they're the main core. So that's him, Rhino Brown. So he's kind of going through the the cadets, telling us a bit about them and how good they are. So he's a strong soldier physically and mentally. So he's he's pretty cool. He's going to progress. Next one, I'm an alert. I'm an alert. He is, he's demonstrated an extraordinary aptitude for his studies. So he's the bright one. Very smart. Annie Leonhardt. She is a kick-ass. Her strike form is flawless. So hand-to-hand -hand combat, she is number one. She works poorly with others, so she's a bit of a lone wolf. And she'll beat you up if you come and talk to her. No, she won't. So next up is Bertolt Hoover. He has great potential but lacks initiative. It's a bit of a follower. Next, we have got Gene Kirstein. He is master of the 3D maneuver gear. So he's a whiz on the gear. So he's number one there. But he's got a brash personality. Causes friction with the team. What's his name again? Gene. So he's the, the dig that keeps rubbing up against Aaron. Not, rub, not rubbing up against Aaron. But conflict. That's the opposite of conflict. <laughs> I like how it's just kind of ticking them all off. So it's great for us as the viewer. So Connie and um the potato loving girl. She loves her food. She's so cute. Swinging through. Love how they're taking the gigantic wooden titans. Sasha. So Sasha Blouse. 
She likes potatoes. I love her. She just wants food, man. Really cute. Fucking phone ringing now. Just wait for the phone to stop ringing. Can you hear the phone? Okay, so she has unconventional good instincts, but they make her unsuited to teamwork. So a lot of the team aren't really good for for teamwork. Is that right? They're mostly loners. Um, Connie Springer, who I thought was a chick initially because the name Connie here in Australia. I don't know about other countries, but Connie's usually a girl's name. And I've got some friends who are Connies. If you're con, then you're a guy. But not, well, I suppose if you got friends called Con and you, you could nickname them Connie, I guess. I was just a bit confused by that. So the animation, it's not, you can't tell on some of these things. I just watched Demon Slayer. I thought the main character in that was a woman. No, it's a guy. Not that this matters. It's just, I was just confused. So Connie Springer, he demonstrates superior physical agility, but lacks mental agility. So he's good at the physical stuff, just not very bright. So we've got Mikasa Ackerman. Um, with us from the beginning, master of all subjects, and widely considered one of the best in our history. So she is awesome. She's beautiful, and she's got all the skills. So Aaron Yeager, he is. He has no outstanding talents, but he's worked harder than anyone to improve his marks, and he has more. And he's more motivated to attain his goal than anyone. Yeah, he he's he means business, man. He's focused. He's like a laser beam, but he's a a, a general not not specifically great at any one thing. But he is capable, so he's definitely going to pass. The hero of the show. But I'm not I'm not going to get too attached to any of these characters because, you know, anyone could drop off at any point. So just going through some basic training. So this is pretty funny. Here's says Braun um, and Aaron just kind of like deciding they're going to have a fight with one of the chicks, one of the, the soldiers. But, um, yeah, just the animation is cool. So everyone's just kind of like goofing off and not really taking it seriously so that comes to Aaron's advantage later on because he does pay attention he does learn some art, some some skills they're going to take on the wrong target here she's like going to keep up what's her name is she Jean this looks ferocious Jean is it Jean I think it's Jean looks mad so he kind of like takes her on and she had some really nice fight scenes here it was pretty funny she knocks him down pretty easily quite readily both of them but um yeah I just kind of love how he's just on his ass well, he's not on his, his ass is on his head, pretty much. So I realize that they're kind of picking on the wrong, the wrong person here. He's like, no, but he ends up, this is a great scene. This made me laugh. This is so funny. When you're going to teach her a soldier's responsibilities, yeah, she teaches him a few tricks. He kind of ends up in the... <laughs> Hilarious. I love that there's still some comedic beats in this because I don't know how long the comedy is going to stick around. We're just before a massive Titan attack. Nothing's really happened in five years, so we have had time to just grow and develop with the characters and get to know them a little bit more and just have some regular day-to-day -day life. So these little comedic beats are, are great. Oh dear, it's going to end in heartbreak. So martial arts won't improve your score. You should just go through the motions like them. So yeah, this is where we kind of had the realization that the only ones allowed to join the military police and go deep within the walls are those who rank in the final top 10. The only ones who take this seriously are the people like you who do whatever they're told or real idiots. And these guys are just joking off. For whatever reason, the better equipped you are to fight Titans, the farther you're assigned from them. And so if you're top tier and you get into the military police, you're sent into the interior ring as far away from the fighting as you can possibly get. So if you want to become number one, you will be sent away from the fighting. Anyway, I'm not stupid enough to enjoy playing soldiers in this shitty world. A lot of people are really depressed, man. It's a horrible situation to be living in. These gigantic monsters wanting to eat you, losing your family and stuff. I was so focused on getting stronger, I never even realized. Such an obvious contradiction. So once again, the animation's just nice. So they're honing their Titan killing skills so that they'll never need to fight them. Uh, it could be the ploy of a lot of them to get as far away from the Titans as possible by becoming the best. It is a contradiction. So we have a nice lunch scene, and this guy is suddenly put into place by Aaron, who has a pretty massive um, speech. So you want to join them? Since guy's been a dick, Aaron's like, until five years ago, this was considered deep inside the wall. So yeah, yeah. And then he has a bit of a, a bit of a, an awesome moment here where this guy thinks he's gonna push Aaron around a little bit. And Aaron just kind of like uses his skills. Like my clothes. I like how when they have these like these altercations that we get like full, full five minutes worth of conversation. Like in what would in reality be like a two second incident. 
So they kind of have all these things that screw you, let go, my clothes will rip. Who gets about your clothes? I'm so envious. What are you talking about? And then he's like, wait, I've got some... Doesn't he look stupid in that? <laughs> so this is the guy that wiped his hand on Connie's shirt too, right? So, yeah, everyone's kind of paying attention, particularly this one. She's like, let's see if he's learned anything today. And yeah, Aaron has. He just kind of like... He realizes that this guy is who he used to be. And a ranting idiot with no control. But I'm different now. He just kind of like composes himself, uses his skills, and this guy ends up on his asshole. I'm um, the boss. The martial arts I went through are a world of hurt to learn while you were screwing around. She's quite proud. I heard quite a commotion. Would someone like to explain? That scary face, man. He's scarier than the Titans. And that sound was Sasha's fart. <laughs> She's absolutely mortified. Like, are you kidding me? Stop it. I just like food. I can't help it. It was potatoes. It's the carbs. So yeah, they're kind of like hanging out there. She's like, why did you say that? But then we have a little scene here, which is a bit of a throwback to the one previous to this one where she, Sasha wanted a potato from Mikasa, but she just ate it in front of her and didn't let her have it. But now she's she, she's feeding her. And these two guys are still just staring each other out. Grr, arg, animosity. You realize everyone's kind of graduated. So you can join these forces here. So you can join the garrison, protecting the towns and reinforcing the walls. So you're on the walls or um, the Survey Corps, where you go out into Titan territory, the most dangerous gig of all, and then the military police, where you can go inside the ring and look after the king, uh, lead the people, and protect internal order. So, protect internal order. So, that's where people aim to go if you want to avoid the fighting. Okay, so we have one of those things where information we can share so far. So, top 10 scores, 104th Trainee Corps. 10, Krista. 9, Sasha. 8, Connie. 7, Marco. 6, Jean. Krista is 10, Sasha is 9, she's kind of tall, little Connie, Marco Bot, have we met him, Jean, I oh, said, so wait, the guy's the guy's Jean, okay, moving on, I'm still learning all the names, guys, so Annie, Annie's the one with the, the fighting, not, so Jean's the guy, Annie, Annie was the one they were fighting with outside in the courtyard and she kicked their asses, Annie, okay, so five, Aaron, four, Annie, three, Bertolt Hoover, two, Rainer Braun, and one, Mikasa Ackerman. Isn't she awesome? I'm getting a bit of a crush on Mikasa. She's so cute. So yeah, this, this scene here, when the, the, I love the animation here, the detail on the buildings. So hi, so good. I keep saying that. So everyone's kind of like, everyone wants to join the military police and not go hungry anymore. Um, let's go on through. More altercations here. Everyone's like a bit upset, but Aaron gives a bit of a rousing speech here, kind of putting everyone to shame about fighting the Titans is a scary business. A lot of people think taking them on is just suicide, it's a waste of time, we're never going to beat them. But Aaron kind of gives a really great emotional, motivational speech here. And you're kind of like, you know, if we, we can't win, you'll just give up. So he kind of gets everybody on his page here. It's true that humanity has only suffered defeat until now. But we didn't know anything about the Titans then. Fighting them head on is pointless. We did lose, but the information we gained gives us hope for next time. We, will we abandon the tactics that cost tens of thousands of lives to develop? And let the Titans eat us without a fight? Hell no. I'm going to exterminate all of the Titans. And escape these cramped walls. That is my dream. Humanity isn't finished yet. Look at that. The, the 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 animation in the eyes. I mean, it really conveys that emotion. So well done. So everyone's kind of like, yeah, damn. Shit, son. If you want to go outside the walls, then go. This guy's a real dick, isn't he? I'm joining the military police at any cost. So he wants to get into the middle. I reckon he's going to be eaten. So we do find out that Armin and Mikasa are going to follow Eren to the ends of the earth. They're family, so they're all going together. That's the way they're doing it. And he's quite emotional. Like, you guys, why? So, well, I don't want to lose any more family, says Mikasa. He's like, damn. Isn't she nice? She's so lovely, and I love a new haircut. So the um, survey calls are just in town. Bit of a different story the last time. Um, and we have our first introduction to... Who's this who? Captain Levi. So who's Levi? Levi is this kid. He looks a bit forlorn, doesn't he? Shut up. You shut up. To a different five years ago. A bit of conflict and drama there. Then we have got Hans. He's back. And 
Aaron has a moment with him, like, you've gone from a drunk to a captain of the combat engineers. Hans he apologizes about the mother thing. And it wasn't your fault, so that's a real moment between the two of them. We aren't ignorant anymore. I'll never let anything that sad happen ever again. He's like, wow, kid's grown. But then he's like, don't die. Don't die, Aaron. He's still worried about him. You can see all the detail on the walls, all the cannons that are set up to attack any approaching titans. And this is this is the thing. Where is that colossal titan? He is nowhere to be seen here right now. How did he... I suppose you could just kind of like creep along the base of the wall. You won't see, but Jesus. So yeah, this is where we kind of found out that his motivational speech has kind of inspired everyone to kind of join the Survey Corps. So we're going to have some time out on the field with the titans, I'd imagine. Kind of a bit put out by having anybody think it was other, anyone than his own decision. I did it myself. And everyone's kind of turning up. And he's like, yeah, you're amazing. And this is, this is, <laughs> Sasha brings the food. I bought meat from the officer's storehouse. And everyone's like, shit, you're going to go to jail. And she's just like, let's all split it. We can make slice and make sandwiches. <laughs> and she, <laughs> she's just drooling and laughing. There's, <laughs> yeah, she appreciates food. That's great. So they want to talk about, um, how we'll be able to have cattle again and grow crops and get proper food. So we're just kind of having a moment here. Everyone's just doing the thing, cleaning the cannons. I like this video. It's like look, overlooking the city about, you know, this is our home. We need to protect it. But I, at the same time, we need to get the hell out of here. And then at this point, I'm watching the clock. I know that this show is about to finish. Like it's not far away. The credits are about to roll. And then suddenly this shit happens. And I was like, whoa, whoa. I thought it was... I thought it was some kind of a flashback or some kind of memory or something wasn't quite real. Like it was, I didn't think that right at this very point, this colossal Titan has just freaking turned up out of nowhere and is about to start laying some waste. Like everyone's just like, oh, holy Jesus. And he's pretty much in one swell swoop of his hand. He's just kind of like, send them all flying. They're flying off walls and it's like carnage. People are nearly dying, rescuing each other. It's great, great shot there, awesome. And then um, don't move. And then great shot here with the hand just on the wall. And Aaron, like everyone's just like falling, just that the hand, the size of the hand. And he like runs up, I will annihilate you. And he's gonna go back up the wall. And he's like, this is pretty cool. He swings back up. And next shot we know. Oh, great shot here of these. How angry he is. He's just pissed at these things. And he just kind of like. Hey you, what's he say? Hey there, it's been five years. Woo, the wall's been breached, so the Titan's gonna get in, there's gonna be a smackdown, there's gonna be some fighting. So um, I won't go through the preview again there, but a hot diggity dog, stop that. So, damn, it, it, that, that's got me pumped for the next one. Like we've had a lot of, like the first episode, Titan attack, second one, the armored Titan turned up, third episode, a lot of character stuff and then a majority of this one is like a lot of character stuff and, and world building as well so to have a titan turn up there at the end is scary and as much as i hate these fucking things i have missed them i want them i want them to turn up because i want to see how our heroes combat them now are we gonna start getting some massive titan fighting are we gonna win we're we gonna lose some people are we gonna start knocking some titans down oh i'm all getting very excited that was cool though i'm really getting quite engrossed with this show um i'm loving it as it's, it's I think I said this last time. It's not really, it's not really a fun show, but it is. I mean, so far I'm finding it really fun. I'm sure it's going to break my heart and scare me and make me want to shit myself at some point. But right now I'm really engaged for all the characters and the animation and the music and the voice acting and everything, the story, the world building. I love it. It's good. Anyway, guys, hope you can wait till the next one. I know I can't. Till then, see you soon.